Mr. Jack Canfield, February 26th. Dear Jack, here I am, living my dream. I open my eyes in the morning, and I can hear singing. I ask you, Jack, is that the birds, or is it my heart? I love it, Jack. And you want to know something surprising? It's not so different from my previous life, except maybe I'm busier now, and much, much happier. Because here I am, a former sales manager, strictly hardware, tool and die, now the editor of a poetry magazine, and I'm still dealing with territory and contacts, credibility, reliability and reputation, as well as marketing and new product development. Also, I'm on a bike now, another change, the leased car went back to the company. I'll tell you, it's one thing to be the editor of a poetry magazine. That's easy. The hard part is being the editor of a poetry magazine that's read, that matters, one that makes a difference, that digs into people's souls. That's my goal. I needed a name for my product, so I turned, where else? To you, Jack. I thought it would be appropriate if I took the name of a soup. You know, something really nourishing. Tomato was too Warhol. I decided against any noodle. Chicken obviously belongs to you. Cream of mushroom? Too bland. Lobster best was tempting, but too upscale. I want to reach the people. So I decided on gazpacho. Why? Because I like the sound of it. Is that enough? I hope so. To tell you the truth, I don't even know what it is. But it sounds like it's got zip. That's for me. I'm calling the magazine Gazpacho Remedies. You know, kind of like a cookbook, Jack where the poems are recipes, a guide to personal nutrition, something healthy. So here I am, putting together the first edition or volume or whatever you call it, the first. As of the moment, I'm not only the editor, I'm also the only contributor. I've started writing, Jack. I don't know if it's any good. I don't even know if they're poems or not. But do you know what? I don't care. This is so liberating. I've never felt so inspired, so alive, so in touch. The words are just pouring forth, happy, sad, the terror and the pity, right? I'm going to go the desktop route, so I had to go out and buy some pretty fancy and expensive equipment. Computer, printer, software, some incidentals. It set me back about five grand. Wish I still had the old office set up, but I know it's worth it. A great investment. I want GR to have a first class look. When I print up the first edition, the first copy belongs to you, I'm going to go door to door, back to the old cold calls. It just seems so right. I can't wait. When I first started out in sales, they used to call me Cold Call Davis, old CC writer. I wrote a poem this morning entitled Cold Call. Every poem is a cold call. I feel so invigorated, Jack, like I'm getting back to my roots. Getting back to me. Wow, you start a poetry magazine, open it up, and you find yourself. What do you say about that? Hello, I've already gotten a bonus. Jack, I just can't thank you enough. Every moment of every day feels exciting to me now. Alive. My life is an adventure, no longer a chore. Bless you for your work. Sincerely, Spencer C.C. C. Davis.